Okay guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, uh, this morning, I would like to continue my uh, practical test for those who are wishing to join building management system. Okay, so what I am having here is BMS build devices because as a future BMS engineers or BMS foreman or supervisor or technician, you will be dealing with these devices. Okay, now in building management system, we call this field devices okay so what are these field devices okay now uh, i will give you an example for example we have an air handling unit okay so if you know what is an air handling unit for those who have no idea what is air handling unit now air handling unit is the equipment or h block equipment that will provide comfort cooling to a specific area okay so meaning an air handling unit will supply one specific area in a building where it will provide comfort cooling, okay? So, when I say comfort cooling, it will deliver air which is treated. When I say treated, uh, it will be air which is, uh, the temperature is around from 20 to 25 degrees or lower than that, okay? Then we have also, the air is also filtered meaning the air running unit, they can provide some cleaning device like air filters. We have two types of air filters. One is pre-filters, then debug filters, okay? Now, pre-filters usually are washable. Then, bug filters, uh, they are replaceable. You cannot wash these uh, bug filters, okay? So, from time to time, uh, based on the preventive maintenance for that equipment, uh, these bug filters will be replaced, okay? Now, for the uh, pre-filters, they are going to uh, wash it, okay? Now, uh, these pre-filters, you need to uh, install an air differential pressure switches so that it will tell you if the filters are already dirty or clogged, okay? So, anyway, uh, as I said, this uh, different uh, field devices or we can call it sensors we will be encountering it in the near future if we will be joining this field of uh, controls okay so what I have here on my table are different field devices the first one uh, this one is uh, sit down so that I can show you exactly what are this okay now this sensor this is a flow sensor or water flow sensor okay so let me show you the paddle okay so this is the paddle that will sense the flow of the uh, water okay we usually use this for uh, water flow switch okay or water flow sensor now guys i will not explain all one by one in this uh, part i'm just going to give you uh, an idea what are these uh, pill devices okay flow switch water flow switch then this one is uh, ambient temperature or ambient uh, temperature and humidity sensor okay so meaning this device we are using this for sensing the ambient condition when we say ambient condition it will tell us what is the outside air temperature and what is the humidity, okay? Now, I have here, this one is a uh, damper actuator, okay? I will explain later what is the purpose and how are you going to install it. Then, I have here the another uh, damper actuator, but this one is open and closed, okay? So, meaning it will open fully. And it, it will close fully or meaning opening at 100% then closing at 0%. Okay. Now this one is a modulating one or three point control. I will explain that one later. Okay. Now another uh, differential uh, pressure sensor. Now I, the range is 300 Pascal. This one another one. The range is 400 Pascal. Another air differential pressure sensor. The range is 400 Pascal. Okay. Now another 
the actual this is the parent air differential pressure switch okay now likewise this one is air differential pressure switch okay another air differential pressure switch now this one is air differential pressure sensor okay so there's a difference between switch and sensor this one will tell you what is the differential pressure being sensed this one will just uh, activate a normally open and a normally closed contact if the set point is reached. I mean the differential pressure sensor is reached. Set point is reached, okay? Now, what I have here, this is a like a limit switch, okay? We are usually using this for air handling unit door, okay? Because the air handling unit door, we want to know that it is always shut, closed or open, okay? Because we cannot leave the air handling unit door open. It should be off. So this one will sense if the door is open or closed. So this one is called a limit switch. Okay. Now what I have here is another water flow switch. Okay. To sense the water flow. Then this one is water differential pressure sensor. Okay. Now this one can be used for... Uh, sensing the differential pressure okay then we can use also this one for sensing the level of the water inside the tank water tank okay now what i have here is a duct temperature sensor okay duct temperature sensor all you need to do is drill a hole in the duct then insert this probe this probe will be the one to sense the temperature of the air passing in the duct okay now i have here also a absolute pressure sensor okay so this one is a duct absolute pressure sensor it will sense that th the pressure inside the air duct okay now i have here another device this one is for water uh, differential pressure uh, switch okay so this one is a water differential pressure switch we are using this for uh let's say you want to know if the pump is delivering water we are using this one okay now again we have here one device this is uh one of the important device you will encounter in the uh field now this one is a valve actuator now the purpose of this valve actuator is to open and close actually this is modulating as you can see here from zero to 10 or 0 to 100 percent opening so this valve when it is it will move or open and close the valve okay so we are attaching this to the valve stem so this one will be the one to open and close the valve based on our control logic program which we are using pid controller okay so again to wrap it up what i have here is uh, Water flow switch, valve actuator, uh, damper actuator, modulating type, then damper actuator, open and close, three differential pressure switch, ambient condition monitoring, outside air, relative humidity, uh, water differential pressure sensor, air differential pressure sensor, uh, water flow switch, valve actuator, uh, absolute pressure sensor duct absolute absolute pressure sensor water flow switch usually used for pump monitoring if the pump is delivering water then this duct air temperature sensor so basically these are the most common DMS field devices that you will encounter in the field now for the next part of this tutorial I will try to explain one by one how you are going to install these devices in the field because this is one of your scope as a bms engineer you will be in charge or if you are the technician you or the foreman you will be in charge in installing these devices in the equipment now as an engineer you should be able to know if these devices are properly uh, installed in the site okay then one more thing as a bms engineer and a guy who is responsible in bms project you need to know how many cables i need to provide for the control and monitoring of this equipment 
which still device needs power supply okay so that will be the scope of our part two okay so guys uh, this is a short introductory for field devices okay so again if you are new to my channel please help me promote my channel by subscribing you can also like put your comments and you can share it to your friends especially those who are uh, planning to join MEP company mechanical electrical and plumbing company okay now shout out for new electrical and new mechanical engineers because uh, in a construction especially if it's a high-rise building and there is a building management system scope in the project then this tutorial is uh, will give you a good head start if you will be joining the field of building management system or building automation once again thank you for joining me in my channel and before I will end this, thank you. God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.